this and that's Thomas video. Today we're going to do a TV slash movie review. This episode is going to be an only for the and horses episode called Friday the 14th. Now in this episode we meet up with Del, Rodney and Grandad on the way to Boise's holiday cottage for a spot of fishing. It is absolutely rain coming down completely very uh, very heavily and they are stopped by a police officer who tells them that a few hours ago a um, convicted serial killer who was in a mental institution has escaped and they are trying to catch him this scares Grandad and Rodney and Dell a little bit. I'm not going to lie, and but they carry on going off to the cottage. Um, when they finally arrive at the cottage, Rodney is convinced he saw something moving out in the trees and the bushes around the garden. Dell quite confidently points out that it's windy as hell outside and there is a very good chance that that's probably what Rodney saw. After they uh, get themselves a little bit more comfortable and a little bit more calm in the cottage, um, they start, you know, kind of not concerning themselves. Until Rodney looks out of the window and he sees a face. That scares Rodney a lot. And uh, that, that freaks everyone else out. And um, it's a, a, a drenched face. It's horrible. It's you know, and it really does scare him. And so him and him and Rodney are a little bit concerned and all that sort of stuff. A couple of minutes later, there's a knock on the the door, and it turns out to be a um, an officer from the um, from the from the in, uh, insane asylum. And he's out, been looking out, looking for this escaped prisoner. Um, Rodney tells it, uh, Dell and Rodney tell him about the face at the window. He says, "Oh, that's probably him. I've probably scared him off. Um, he'll probably be caught by one of his colleagues." And um, later on, we discover that. Um, um, yeah, so. He, he he has them write a report and all that sort of stuff to say what he you know what he was like and all that sort of stuff. So anyway, um, they capture they capture what they who Rodney recognises as the man at the window, and uh, the 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 um, officer from the asylum and um, Rodney and Dell bundle him into the. Uh, the back of the van and Rodney and Grandad get into the front of the van and drive over to the institute, the um, the asylum, sorry, to um, <clears throat> take him back there, leaving Dell and the guard with at the cottage because he needs to write a report as Dell helped him capture him. And um, once Rodney and um, Grand to get to the asylum and t get told by the officers there that this isn't actually the escaped inmate, it's the groundskeeper of the estate where Boise's cottage is. Uh, they give Dell a call saying, Dell, we might have a bit of a situation. We think that the guy who's playing the guard is the escaped um, convict. Uh, be careful. At this point, Dell starts a little bit concerned, thinking, oh dear, I'm now in a room with escaped um, criminal. What am I going to do? <clears throat> and they start talking about kind of winning and losing and what is better. Is it better to be a winner or is it better to be a loser? And uh, it all sort of rounds up um, with them playing imaginary snooker on a table and... Uh, Dell is 
like, you know, I think you're going to win. But uh, he's like, no, I hope I don't because if, if you win, everyone wants to try and beat you. So it's better to always lose because then everyone doesn't expect anything from you. Well, that's the end of the episode. Um, Thank you very much for watching this episode of Only Fools and Horses, Friday the 14th. Um, I think this is a really, really clever episode of Only Fools. And I'm going to give it a score of actually... I'm actually a number one. Just because I think it's such a really clever story. And I think it takes these three characters that we know so well out of their normal environment and puts them in something completely foreign and completely different but yet still very natural so I think that's a really clever way of progressing these characters so that's why I've given it that score <clears throat> anyway thank you very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed this episode if you like you can always leave a like a subscribe um, you can um, become one of my patrons you can um, <clears throat> what else Hang on. You can follow the links down below in my comment section, in the um, description section. And if you like, you can become one of my patrons. The link is down below, like I said. And otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you next week. Goodbye.